Welcome in, fellas. Big key to this spot is, of course, sneaker closet. I've got a bunch of old basketball stuff in here. Whole section here is Jordan 1s, but this one, probably my favorite. Some 85s. Uh, I wear those pretty often, actually. They hold up pretty well. And then this was actually my first pair of Jordans ever. October 6, 2001, I remember the day. Any crazy story with these? Actually, yeah. So Slam had a photo of these in the metallic silvers, and I thought the metallic silvers were white because it was in the magazine. So I went to Foot Locker, camped out, thought that it was gonna be the white ones I was gonna get. And when I realized they were gray, I got these instead. These are some of my favorites of all time. This is the Oregon LeBron 2s. Oh man, those are nuts. I got no, these and the green pair when I was like probably 23 years old. I ate Reese's Puffs for like the whole month on that month. PJ actually borrowed my other green pair. So PJ, I need those back, but I do have a sample of Soul Collector Soldiers and then uh, the LeBron 6 that was not the LeBron 6 with the carbon fiber wrapping around for the logo. Have you worn any of these? The pair that PJ has. <laughs> PJ, the only person that you've lent some pairs before? Actually, yeah. And definitely the only one that hasn't given them back. <laughs> Bro, PJ, he wants his pair back. One of my favorite shoes of all time, the Shake and Destruct. Some original Shake and Destruct. It's you can see the whole heel's yeah. about to come apart. <laughs> and then this is actually my middle school basketball shoe. Black and green, mm -hmm. Sutter Middle School, we were the green uh, miners was the nickname, and uh, obviously these are long gone, trying to wear these. What uh, size were you in middle school, man? I've been a 13th since seventh grade. Same, I've been the same height, too. <laughs> oh, this is a cool one. It's the original Kobe's rookie season, oh. top 10 2010s, with the Freddy Feet You Wear logo. To me, one of the greatest Adidas shoes ever. Got some more LeBron PEs too. This is the Ohio State LeBron 4s. About two and a half pounds each shoe. Yeah, but, dude, uh, this is heavy. <laughs> Ultra Flights. So this is like a wear test sample that I got a hold of. Black Neon, these never came out. One of the most underrated hoop shoes of all time. Zoom GPs, the Black and Neon colorway. Huge fan of these, but they have the ratchet with the fold over. Great shoe. What else you wanna see? I got like, you know, foams and... Uh, what foams do you have? I think this is a brand awesome. new pair. Haven't gotten around to wearing those yet, but Dark Neon Royal. Everybody's got to have some blue foams in the, in the rotation. Yeah. Electric uh, blue. Just, uh... What do you think about these? I mean, I haven't worn them yet, but I love purple, so that's why I got those. Better than the threes? Yes. Oh. Yes. Hot. Yeah. In this closet, because there's multiple, a sleeper pair. Man, I'd probably say these actually. I know everybody loves foam posits, but to me, flight posits are incredible. Just the metallic, like iridescent part of it is amazing. Is this the same colorway that was Spider-Man? Yeah, Green Goblin. Eggplants and, the, and this pair, you can't go wrong, but. All right, that's closet one. Let's check out upstairs. So this is a lot of stuff that I just kind of grab and go and wear pretty often. So got some Y3 stuff. As a Zoom Flight 95 purist, I approve. I thought these came out great. Y3. Y3s. Shout out to Aurelian Longo, one of the best designers in the game, in my opinion. He does a lot of the Y3 stuff. Super, super talented. Harden 7s. This was probably my favorite signature shoe last season. I love rocking these. Wear some, you know, some big black baggy pants or something like that. I'm mad comfortable. Easy to kick around. Why are they right there? Uh, somebody scuffed them one time. I think oh. it was at the Nice Kicks office in Austin, Texas, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it was that damn dog. Got the tough crowd curry 11s there. Got the red accents. Got the dog splash logo on the insole, if you could see that. And then some Jordan 1s to kick around. Some more Y3 stuff. Some designer type stuff. This is where it's at. This is the original 1991 Command Force with the VHS from White Man Can't Jump. Of course, Billy Hoyle was my guy. Out of respect to the first one, I didn't see the sequel. I don't know if it was from like a Space Jam versus Space Jam 2, like uh, Aftermath and not wanted to see the sequel. Jason Williams growing up, one of my favorite basketball players. I got some signed two cheese from his and one era. Uh, Yankees LeBron fives was kind of a big deal when these came out because of course LeBron was deciding the year after that what team he was going to go to. This was the Yankees LeBron six that actually was not the LeBron six. Uh, these ended up getting scrapped but uh, size 9 sample I've always held on to. This was the Soul Collector collab that never happened. We were going to do a Jordan 11 collab with Tinker and the Jordan brand. Tinker actually misspelled patent leather, which is kind of funny. We were going to do a shoe that had a fully carbon fiber heel counter to tell the story about the 11s with carbon fiber. In actuality, it got scrapped, and as you see on the cover, this was the Comfort 11. So that was the shoe we ended up doing with the SC on the heel. My beloved Oregon Ducks, I got the Jordan 4s from the Oregon football team PE. That's actually the heel counter mold with Tinker's like original sketch which is pretty cool with the gloss on it here i've got some hyper flights again jay will my guy 55 and then this was the zoom flight club uh, that we did at soul collector inspired by the hyper flights and on my pair they put the ndp logo on the heel which is pretty cool 
I will say the, the shoe history in Sacramento is pretty limited, but to go from hybrid flights to the next year, the C-dubs and Chrome, this was a crazy shoe. C-Web wore these at the All-Star game in 2002. If you wear them at all, they pretty much crack and chip everywhere, but that's why these are on display. Did you recently get those? I recently got those after probably, I mean, literally 20 years of trying to get them. And then this is an original Shaq Attack one in his size. First signature athlete with a Reebok. Shaq was one of my favorite players growing up. This is the original Shaq Gnosis in my size, which is funny because it's a 13. And it looks miniature versus his size. Over here, I got some Flight 89s. This actually, I think, is a size 9 sample that's signed by Gilbert Arenas, who wore them at Arizona. The black patents, I wore those in high school. That's a Curry 4 sample from the 2017 finals. I think it was game 3 he wore those. He wore this pair. Uh, not that pair that's in his size. That's like another colorway. That's the Curry 9 from the 2974 record-breaking events at Madison Square Garden when he broke the three-point record. This is one of five pairs. Tough Crowd times Curry brand. Slip on with the black flow. Comfortable? Mad comfortable. We'll see if they actually come out. And then uh, let's check out the top floor. This is where I have a bunch of stuff that I don't really wear too often. It's more so just like storage. Some of my favorites in here. Penny 2 Soul Collector. This is our fifth anniversary shoe back in the day. One of my favorites, Penny 1 uh, Soul Collectors back in 2011. This was a Zoom rookie we did. Oh wow, the Galaxies. This actually came off to reveal the S, which was always cool. This is a Soul Collector Trainer 360. This might be one of my favorites of all the Soul Collector collabs we did. It's kind of like that. SC Trainer 2 colorway inspired, but it's got the sole nose. I also got some OG stuff in here. Got some Thrill Flights. Thrill Flight was actually my first Nike shoe I ever got. I got the black colorway. And it was also Aaron Cooper's first shoe he ever designed, which I always thought was a cool fact. This is the Jordan Vindicate. Mm. Vin Baker from 1999. A lot of people say that Carmelo was the first signature athlete, and I love Melo too, but the shoe was called the Vindicate, and the guy's name was Vin Baker. Seems like it was his shoe, so. Carmelo says he's the first. Now I just want to be clear. I was the first Jordan brand signature athlete. Uh, Ever. The first. I think Carmelo is officially the first George signature guy, but Eddie Jones with the quick sixes, which six was his jersey number. Vindicate with Vin Baker. Hard to argue with anybody at that point. Give me a pair that has a unique story behind it. Probably this one, actually. I got these during the pandemic. They tried to black it out, but it's pretty straightforward. Athlete name, Michael Jordan. And it's a uh, alternate promo pair of the shoes he wore in The Last Dance. The Last Dance, I think everybody would say, is one of the greatest you know sports documentaries ever. So haven't worn these. Um, they did actually come out, but to have the promo version was pretty cool. For you guys being out in Austin, of course we gotta go with our guy KD. I think it was the UT team that actually helped debut these, but this is the Nerf KD4s. We'll see if they come back. They probably should come back if they do retro the force. Man, this is a random one that has a story. This is, you guys all remember this. The Jordan 2-3 Cavi. So, <laughs> Jordan Brand had like this lifestyle series. It was called 2-3. It was all like elevated leathers. This was the shoe I wore to prom. Let's just say uh, it's a good thing the retros and the ones worked out because I don't know if this was the move, but I got some other cool stuff in here, which to me again, being a Ducks guy, these are the Tinker Jordan 3s with the Velcro swooshes. Man, these are pretty crazy. Just the O uh, with the web foot on the back, which is sick. This is probably the, one of the newer ones. That's the Jordan 8's, the chrome Jordan 8 strap clip, so. Air Max 1 UO. And it was an NFT that also came with the shoes. Tinker signed these ones. I believe it's 117 out of 120. So one of the things we did at Soul Collector was uh, the Zoom Revis was one of the first shoes to have like a full bottom loaded Zoom bag. And so we did like a Teleria inspired neon tennis ball. Got the Revis font there. This is the Reebok Pump. This was the shoe Gerald Green wore in the Pink 07 Vegas Dunk Contest. Custom made for Gerald Green. Yep. So, some random stuff like that that I always thought was fresh. Yeah. <laughs> what is, is this? So I guess they're supposed to be an error shoe. So Puma being a European company, I'm a US 13, which is a European 46. So they made these as if it's a US 46. I would say usually display piece, but also so big that where are you gonna really put them? All right, this is the Dame 4 glow in the dark skate. So there's a spot called Oaks Park here in Portland that we would actually go skate at. Obviously Dame's no longer in Portland, but best of luck Milwaukee. But when they did the Dame 4, they made a skate version for him and I got a pair too. Still lighting up. 
These are some samples that never happened. This is the undefeated Answer 11 with Reebok. Georgetown Hoyas color. What's the pair in here that means the most to you? Man, probably the Thrill Flights. So the Zoom Flight 95 is always my favorite shoe growing up, but they were too expensive. So I got the Thrill Flights for 58 bucks in black on sale at JCPenney. That was my first ever Nike. Found these on eBay a few years back. Still trying to find the black pair, but that's always sort of the shoe that got me in into shoes. <laughs> 